What's up guys, James here, how are you doing? So, I'm going to be responding to May Olsen, uh, she's a porn star who supports uh, Measure B. Measure B, among other things, uh, wants to mandate the use of condoms in pornography. Uh, there's a few other things involved in it as well, which I'll get into, but let's just say that I very much disagree. Also, uh, May only has 18 subscribers at the moment, so by all means, you know, please check out her channel. Um, although I highly disagree with her on this topic, uh, she seems pretty smart. So, yeah, by all means, check out her channel and subscribe. Uh, also, before I start, just like to say sorry that I couldn't really do the uh, charity event thing I was planning on doing. Uh, life kind of got in the way somewhat and uh, I'm having a few problems with the website and the other problem is that, well, my channel is still too small to get the attention I really wanted for it so I, I'm going to try again when my channel's a bit bigger and if it carries on growing at the rate it has been over the last few days then that shouldn't take too long. And here's me. Anyways, back to the original point of my entire video which was to discuss Measure B. Now, if you don't know what Measure B is uh, I think it's some, look, I'm not exactly 100% informed because I just get to the gist of shit. And there's your first problem. Um, you really need to look into it a lot more than you have. Measure B involves a lot more than simply condoms, and both sides of this debate seem to be ignoring that. But Measure B is supposed to be a law which requires the use of condoms in adult film shoots in Los Angeles and a lot of people as you have seen are not really agreeing with that because at whatever reason there's a lot of reasons which I will get into and I will also explain my opinion which is actually to support Measure B which is an unpopular opinion. Okay I'm gonna go over quickly what Measure B covers and if you ignore the rest of my video please listen to this bit because yeah, this is the important bit. Measure B isn't just about condoms uh, so if you still think condoms should be uh, mandatory by the end of this video, I urge you to please vote no on Measure B and wait till the ballot comes up, which does just stipulate for the condoms. So the purpose of Measure B is intended to minimise the spread of sexually transmitted infections by regulating the adult film industry. Use of condoms for all acts of anal and vaginal sex and posting of permits to all performers. Film companies need to pay a permit. Permits are also very limited according to some sources as well. Um, completion of a bloodborne pathogen training course and submission of an exposure control plan. Measure B also stipulates standard standards of conduct on set. Uh, during filming and could require actors and film crew to wear gloves, goggles and lab coats. There's also fines and criminal charges which I suspect um, could potentially get everyone involved in the filming put on the sex offender registry if uh, the film company is, uh, is charged. And there also doesn't seem to be any exemption whatsoever for amateur work. So, you know, a couple who has sex and records it and sticks it up on, the, uh, on uh, Red Tube, if they're in LA County, they could be uh, fined, put in prison, and put on the sex offender registry, potentially. So, it will make it nearly impossible for amateur performers. I, of course, can't pay for the uh, pathogen training and all of that stuff. Uh, it's also going to make it very, very difficult for small producers. Some of the big producers will move out of um, will move out of the county, so that's going to drive down competition, making it a lot harder for performers to actually find work with companies they actually like. Or it's going to force the filming uh, underground, where it's going to be illegal, and then you get all of those sorts of problems which you get when um, things are pushed underground. Like about prostitution and drugs. Most of the problems related to those activities are due to the fact that they're illegal. So, in short, this could absolutely cripple the adult uh, film industry from what I've uh, gathered so far. Condoms, should they or shouldn't be used? Now, over the past. I don't think anyone's actually saying that condoms shouldn't be used, at least no one who's really worth listening to. 
uh, people are just saying that it shouldn't be completely mandated. It should be left to the people involved in the filming. And if a porn company is telling you not to use a condom, then you're free to just walk out and say, fuck you. Hell, you can even write a blog and say, you know, the, um, this porn company is full of assholes. They're telling us we're not allowed to use condoms. If you're considering working for them, then I, you know, I suggest that you uh, look somewhere else. A test is not foolproof. It can be altered. And condoms would definitely help to prevent the spread of STDs. And a lot of people are like, oh, STDs aren't a magic wand. They're like, oh, they only prevent, you know, um, STDs up to 50%. Okay, well, I'd rather have that 50% of not having an STD than no chance at all. And yeah, I agree. Using condoms is a wise choice. So, use condoms when you work, and if uh, the people are telling you that you have to use them, tell them to fuck off and find, and find a company that will let you use them. Okay, if you have gonorrhea, if you have chlamydia, have you ever had gonorrhea or chlamydia? It's not fun, okay? And then you have to take a few days off and get a shot in your ass. It's not fun. Nobody wants that. So just, why don't we just all use condoms and prevent it? I mean, if you got an STD from, you know, fucking some buddy at the club or wh however you got your STD, it will help not bring it into the industry. Another reason why production companies and performers alike don't want to use condoms is because they feel that it will hurt the industry as porn is basically a fantasy world. And, I mean, I know. In your fantasy, you don't want to use a condom. And porn is fantasy and it's entertainment. And, you know, with it being a form of uh, visual entertainment, it's not subject to the same rules as other workplaces and it shouldn't be because it's qualitatively different. Uh, for example, you can't get charged with uh, discrimination based on sex or race if the scene demands uh, demands a black person or a woman. Uh, you know, it's completely different in that regard. It's completely visual. It's not like if I'm chopping down a tree and I'm required to wear uh, goggles, I can't argue, well, the goggles ruin it, um, because the visual has absolutely nothing to do with it. In porn, it does. Uh, you know, this would be like requiring stuntmen to wear helmets in every film, every scene they scene they film, and arguing, well, it's for their own safety. Uh, you know, you can't let that ruin your fantasy just because every time you see a movie, a stuntman uh, has a helmet on his head when he's jumping through a window. It's yeah, it's completely ridiculous. But if it really affects your boner that much to see a condom in porn, I really shudder to think of what kind of nasty, wretched person you are in real life. Okay, so if this nasty, wretched person can't get turned on if they see a condom, would you rather they are watching porn, or would you rather they were going out and having sex? You know, and condoms are not a bad thing. You know, Wicked and Bang Bros, they are both condom-only companies, and they seem to be doing pretty damn well for themselves. So don't give me that bullshit. So then you should encourage people to work for those companies, but as I've mentioned, it's not just the condom thing, which is why Measure B is such a bad idea. But, oh, it's gonna hurt the industry. The fans will fucking get over it, okay? I am going to give you an example of something that a friend told me <laughs> that when he was watching wrestling and uh, when he was younger and they had this so-called uh, attitude era and it was like you know one of the best times in wrestling and then when they moved on to you know the shit that it is now you know nobody's really happy with it but they get used to it they still want to see it and they'll just have to get used to it just like porn so during the attitude era of the wwf now the wwe ratings were an absolute all-time high I don't know if it's recovered since then, but as you mentioned, it's turned to absolute shit. Do you want your industry to turn to absolute shit? Do you want to be earning a quarter of what you're earning now, if you're even in a job at all? Um, you've always got to have a, um, have a risk versus benefit analysis, and the safest thing would be to shut the industry down altogether. And of course, you don't want that, I don't want that, the customers don't want that. People want people supporting Measure B. A lot of them want that. Uh, Shelley Lubin, for example, uh, here's a pic. Um, here's her pictured with Michael Weinstein, one of the people behind Measure B. 
she wants uh, the adult entertainment industry completely dismantled and shut down and she's one of the most dishonest pieces of crap uh, I've ever had the pleasure of talking to. Uh, so yeah, mention her to some of your some of your friends in the industry. Uh, I bet they've got a few choice words to say about her. Um, also, the uh, AIDS Health Foundation uh, is apparently behind uh, AIM filing for bankruptcy. That's the uh, uh, Adult Industry Medical Healthcare Foundation. Uh, uh, so yeah, here's a quick clip of Michael Weinstein uh, talking. I haven't seen the whole original clip, so it might have been taken out of context. But the guy who sent me this uh, is quite trustworthy from my experience. And he solicited plaintiffs to sue AIM. Largely as a result of massive legal expenses, AIM was forced into bankruptcy in 2011. Michael Weinstein claims that Measure B is about protecting performer health. But if he's so concerned about the health of adult performers, then why did he destroy their medical clinic? The testing program run by uh, AIM uh, is a fig leaf for the industry, and without this fig leaf, uh, that there would be no way in which the industry could operate without condom use. Yes, the industry's testing program was in the way, so the AIM medical clinic had to be destroyed. Now, I know there are some performers that are actually scared to ask for condoms on set for a number of reasons like you know they're they'll be scared that that company won't shoot them again because you know they look at them funny like oh you asked for a condom and i know that there are some people that do that or they're scared that their pay will be cut because the company will feel like not a lot of fans will watch it because of condom so they're going to cut your pay or they'll be simply denied a condom which that has never happened to me if i've ever asked for a condom but, you know, I haven't shot for anybody, and I'm sure there are some shady individuals that might do that. No. So you've never been refused a condom when uh, you've asked for it. Uh, you know, that shows that it's pretty rare that they will actually refuse it. So, yeah, just encourage more men to actually uh, ask for it. So I'd give them the same advice which I gave, uh, which I gave you earlier. If you ask for a condom and you're, and you're refused, tell that company to fuck off and find a company which will provide them. Um, and one of the problems I see within the industry is that most of the men in my experience um, are shit. They can't fuck for shit and, uh, you know, that reduces my enjoyment of watching porn. You know, I want to watch a woman being fucked properly. I don't want to watch someone who doesn't know what they're doing. Um, I think part of that is the, is the pay. Men get a lot worse pay, and so I think the, uh, a lot of the men in the industry are going to be more desperate for work, and that probably does make it harder to, harder for them to ask. To be fair, you know they want you know they want to get every job they can. They don't want to be uh, blacklisted by companies because they refuse to work without a condom, but. Still, I think they should have a bit of courage there and uh, ask anyway. If they don't feel safe, they shouldn't be doing the job. If they can't handle that, they should be. Uh, then they should move to a different industry. And then there's the biggest issue of them all, which is that they feel that this measure B here will violate our rights as American citizens because there's an amendment you can see the first one or the fifth one whatever there's an amendment there that is like the freedom of speech and I guess porn is freedom of speech you know because what whatever that's the uh, first amendment that's uh, covers freedom of religion freedom of speech and uh, freedom of expression is usually interpreted into uh, freedom of speech now, um, amateur work, yeah, I think that should be completely covered under freedom of expression when it comes to, um, when it actually comes to the adult entertainment industry, however, that's slightly different. Um, but, you know, it doesn't deserve special treatment. Uh, you know, uh, governments can regulate industries, it's not illegal for them to do so. I disagree with them uh, doing it in many cases, but I don't think that it's unconstitutional for the government to uh, regulate pornograph um, pornography uh, if people are actually making money from it. All I know is that, okay, that's not 
I don't, I don't really agree with, you know, that, you know, that that is a good point. But have you seen this country? I think it actually needs a little bit of control in it because we're just a fucked up individuals in America. Now, I'm not saying that I want, you know, the entire government to dictate everything we're doing. I mean, I'm, to be tr honest, I'm not even voting in this year's election. I'm not voting for Mitt Romney. I'm not voting for Barack Obama. I'm just not doing it. I don't want On a quick side note, if I was uh, in America, I'd certainly be voting for Obama because I'd rather kill myself than see Romney in power. Uh, in fact, if he does get in power, I'll probably still kill myself, even though I'm living in England. Uh, of course, you're free to vote wherever you wanted. That's just a little side note. But, yeah, when it comes to freedom of speech and freedom of expression, it's pretty surprising that you, out of all people, are saying that the government should be able to tell people how they're allowed to express themselves. I've, of course, got nothing uh, against what you're doing whatsoever. Um, I fully support you, but there's people who don't. There's people who think that what you're doing is sick, it's wrong, you're going to burn in hell, you're encouraging paedophilia. There's people out there who fucking believe that bullshit. And, uh, yeah, freedom of speech protects their right to say it. It also, respect, um, it also protects your right to do what you're doing and tell them to go fuck themselves. I want to get into it. And... I do not agree, like I said, I don't agree with the government, you know, mandating everything, but this is not a bad thing. It's it's really not. I mean, why are you going to be mad about people actually being concerned for your well-being? Do you want to get an STD? No. So yeah, as I've said, I am very much against STDs. Obviously, I think people should be encouraged to use them. I just don't think that the government should come in and start holding our hands and treating us like children and telling us what we are and aren't allowed to be doing with our own bodies. You know, everyone in the industry is an adult, and if they're not an adult, then that the company's hiring them has quite a lawsuit on their hands there. I mean, adults should be able to do what they want with their own body. Of course I support um, condom use. I think it should be very much encouraged. It just shouldn't be forced. I mean, I think that uh, obesity is becoming a bit of an epidemic. I don't think the government should be stepping in and saying you're not allowed to buy a soda over 16 ounces or trying to ban junk food or anything like that. Adults should be free to make their own choices, even if they could end up being harmful to themselves. So, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, favourite my video. It's a good way of uh, spreading, um, of increasing the popularity of my channel. Uh, and May also says some information at the end to help people look for certain STDs. So, I'll leave you with that. Bye. Okay, now I suggest that if you do, if this doesn't pass, but you know, there is something put into place where you can use condoms and you don't want to, I please suggest that you talk to the other partner and you know, inspect maybe to see if there's any open source because syphilis is um, transferred by open source, you know, with or without a condom. And gonorrhea and chlamydia are. Uh, preventable with a condom and so is HIV and other STDs.